What's up everybody, my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder. And today we are talking about This Is Not A Ghost Story by Andrea Portez. So this is one of those books that I put on hold at the library and then promptly <laughs> forgot about it. So when it was checked out to me, I was like, ooh, okay, let's check this thing out now. Didn't read the description of it again, didn't refresh my memory at all, just went straight into it. And let me tell you, I really, really loved this book. So This Is Not A Ghost Story is technically not a ghost story but that is kind of the question as you are going about this tale. So we are following a girl named Daffodil. Yes, her name is Daffodil. Uh, she is in the summer between high school and college. She's actually on her way to college and she decides to just get off the train at some random town. And she's like, I'm gonna find a job. And she manages to find a job house sitting this giant, cool, like, old style house, like way out in the middle of nowhere. She's gonna be there completely alone. She's overseeing some work that's being done to their backyard. And like some, so like she knows that this isn't right. Like she's being paid too much for this. She has no experience. Like this was like an on the spot hire. Like she knows like something's not quite right here, but like she's not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. And she also knows that something's not quite right with this house. Like just the person who hired her was a little bit strange. And like, as she's been in it for a little while, she notices like some things are weird and like the people are weird and like all that kind of stuff. But again, not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. And we quickly catch on that Daffodil is running from something. Something happened to her in her hometown that she will not think about. Like she is somebody who's dealing with a lot of trauma and she cannot think about it. She cannot look at it. She cannot unpack it. She's just trying to move forward. And I really like that that was also hanging over our heads. Like I really like, like I've learned a little bit more about like the gothic and like the, the ghost story type of section of literature. And our main character is being haunted by her past. So it might not necessarily be that this house is haunted, although it could also be that this house is haunted. So like you have all these questions kind of swirling around. And what I really Really liked about it is that it's framed from our main character telling us this story and Daffodil is a really funny main character. She felt very realistic. She felt very relatable. And listening to this audiobook, the narrator did such a good job of like telling you how Daffodil was feeling because she's an unreliable narrator. Like she will only tell you things that she wants to tell you. If she doesn't want to think about something, she's not going to think about it. And I felt like the way the narrator spoke, you could really get that across. Like it really felt like you were listening to the story from this teenage girl that was having all of this stuff happen to her. This was a really quick listen. It was only about six hours long and when I went to market as read on Goodreads I noticed that it's not a very well received book a lot of people just say it's kind of meh it's kind of so-so it gets like maybe three stars I gave it five stars I loved it I thought the pacing was done really well I thought the tension was really good it's not really like a scary book but it does have a lot of unsettling qualities about it particularly once you get about halfway through the book like stuff is like building and building and building and then something happens and then it's like okay everything's different now and then it builds and builds and builds again. Like I felt like Andrea Portez just did like a really good job building that. And so honestly, I would really recommend this book. To me, I would say that it is most closely resembles books by E. Lockhart, the way that she does her characters, the way that she like unravels her narrative. It really reminded me of that just with maybe some more humor thrown into it. So I personally really love this. I am giving it an A minus and that's mostly just because when I got to the ending, like I wasn't I wasn't disappointed with the ending, but I was hoping for like a little bit something else, I guess. Um, that's not really like a knock for like the writing or anything like that, but I felt like it could have been pushed just a little bit more. So I am giving this book an A minus and I would definitely recommend giving it a look. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.